This is my 75 Ford F-250 High Boy. It's got a 460 big block that was swapped in. It was originally a 360 truck, but somebody who is apparently awesome threw in a 460. I'm not even real sure what the 460 came out of. I'm still trying to decode all the all the block and crap. And uh, but anyhow, I'm gonna have to do that to get parts for it. You're probably thinking, hey, that's not a that's not a 75, that's a 78. Well, somebody decided to throw a a 78 grill on it and redo the badges to look like a 78. Um, they busted it and they probably get mad at it busted it because it's a pain in the butt to unlatch the hood the way it is now because on the 75s 75 to uh, 77 you know it had this split there with the Ford letters and that that would have been a whole lot more easily accessible I'm gonna switch that back because I'm um, this is sort of a restoration slash mud truck project um, runs runs pretty decent um, it was originally dark metallic blue, almost Bigfoot blue, like the monster truck. Um, there's, you see what color, you see the blue there, where the paint's coming off. Um, there's the way they rebadged it as a F-250 Custom XLT. Um, I'm pretty sure it was just a F-250 Ranger, so that's what I'm going to rebadge it as when I repaint it. I'm going to repaint it pretty close to that blue, but darker. Um, only real mechanical issues with it are the brake. The brakes are a little soft because there's a pretty big leak on the back axle there where it goes down, but that's gonna be fixed pretty soon. And I've got um, U joints waiting on me at the parts store, so I can put the front drive shaft back on, and then I'll have four wheel drive. Um, doesn't have a tailgate, which I mean, that really doesn't really matter. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to put a new bed on it anyway. Because at some point, it's been broke down and they welded that crap up in there. And also, it's just got the typical pickup rust spots right there. Um, but the cab corners are solid. Um, interior is pretty clean. It's not, it's not going to be that big of an undertaking, hopefully. Um, drip rails solid up here um, paints coming off of them but that's just somebody did a crappy paint job um, right there is only man that's the only real structural problem with the cab is rust in there and there um, I mean I can get all that from LMC truck so that won't be an issue um, but the as I said the cab corners back here are real solid that's all good um, Gauge, gauges, most of them work. The tack is unplugged or something. Um, on the little tiny Grant steering wheel here, the the uh, horn doesn't work. Pried it off, and there's absolutely no wiring in there. So I have to figure that out. Um, also, there's no stereo, so I'm going to have to completely wire that up on my own, which, I mean, I'm pretty pretty good at wiring so that won't be a, a huge task but it's just kind of a pain they got some cutouts back here if I can get the seat unlatched there you go as you can see got some cutouts back here where we had some six by nines so I'm gonna throw some six by nines back in it and uh, probably do some sub, do a sub, a single big sub or something. I don't want to get go too crazy with it, but I do want some sound back in it because this is gonna be a pretty fun, pretty fun truck once I get to start driving it a lot. Um, it's a C, it's a C6 automatic, but it's got the divorced manual transfer case. I think it's divorced. Somebody told me they were all divorced, so I just figured it is. Um, it's got. Um, it's got, uh, it's got glass packs off the, off the, uh, manifolds dumped under the bed. Sounds pretty good. I don't know how good it's going to start, but it usually pops right off. There we go. 
0460. And uh, that there is my favorite part is uh, don't smoke. So that's a major plus. The motor, the motor seems to be in good condition. Um, just gonna do a little routine maintenance on it and, and drive the crap out of it, really. That, that's really the main problem I have with it right there. Um, it's not got a heavy enough return spring on the carburetor. I built a new bracket for it and I just gotta get a get the spring to go on it because they had some little they had this little piddly thing on there and that's really no good. I put a, a bit heavier one on there, but it really needs a, a factory style heavier one on there. It's it's a whole lot better than it was, but as you can tell the truck runs really good. Minus that little bobble right there. But anyway, I'm really happy with it. Hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think.